Hi, this is Reem Morgan for T3.com. And after last week's barrage of Apple news, there's no doubt that the pick of the bunch was the Apple iPod Nano. It's now been shrunk to nano proportions and it's had a bit of a makeover. Joining me is Luke Peters, who's been getting touchy-feely with the device. So, it's shrunk in size. Have there been any sacrifices? Yeah, the main sacrifice is the video camera. It was apparent on the iPod Nano of... uh, of yesterday, now they've taken it out completely. I mean, for the sheer fact that they just probably couldn't fit it in something that small. Uh, but maybe Apple uh, are looking to get people using video cameras on the iPod Touch and the iPhone. So that, that's the major sort of sacrifice. But in its place, we get a touchscreen, uh, which it, it works very well. It's in, uh, easy to use. It was, it's a little bit tricky to, um, if you've never used any of the iPod multi gesture before, it, it takes, I think it takes a little bit longer to get used to than the okay. iPhone or the iPod Touch because it's just, you're only swiping essentially um, horizontally rather than up and down. And, and I, I, I think just give it an hour and you'll, you know, you'll be able to use it quite fine. The new bits, I suppose, are the, are the fact that you can twist the screen. So it doesn't matter where you've clipped it on yourself, yeah. you can then use multi gesture to turn the screen mm-hmm. around to face you. Uh, that works really. That's the only multi-touch gesture that. Yeah. The, that so you can't do the pinch to zoom. No pinch to zoom, but you can in photos tap to zoom, okay. and that will zoom into a photo, and then you can move it around. But but but, but that's it. Um, and there's also shake to shuffle, um, which which we've seen on products with yeah. Apple products before, and that works again. It works really well if you just put, put all your tunes into shuffle, shake it when you when you bored of that one, it will jump to it. You, the only thing you've got to be wary of is if you've got it in a pocket and you're, yeah. really, you're walking around, it, it, it can be can, jigging around. It could be jigging around. It, it can shuffle without you wanting it to. Right, and can you switch that on and off? You can switch it off. If, yeah, absolutely. You can switch it off. But if you've got it on and it's in a pocket, then just, just be wary of it. Yeah. I suppose. Most of the old features are still there. The FM radio with, with live pause, um, which is great. And there's also a feature that if there's a song playing that you like the sound of um, and the information is broadcast, so you can then save this to the Nano, and then when you okay. dock them with iTunes, you can have the option to purchase purchase a song, which is great. It's got a pedometer and compatibility with Night Plus, and I think that's where th- uh, these will sell quite well. It's, it was, it was in, the, in the exercise market. People are gonna run. They want something they can just clip onto their shirt, um, but they want maybe some additional features that come in the form of these sort of tiny apps that you can see on the screen. So that's got, so you said running, because it's got this clip on the back, yeah, so you can clip it anywhere. It's, it, it takes it takes uh, its inspiration from the the the, the shuffle. Yeah. Um, and uh, in a way, that's that's where we're not sure of where this product's going to mm. sit because it's almost as small as the shuffle, and the shuffle is it's only used to listen to music. And I think people are only going to use this to listen to music. The the photo um, synchronization here is great, but the screen's just too small. This is how much more expensive than a shuffle? So the iPod shuffle is yeah. uh, 39 pounds. And that's great for Apple to say that you can own an iPod for, yeah. for under 40 quid. And the the uh, iPod Nano now starts at 129 pounds for the eight gigabyte version. And it goes up to how many gigabytes? 16. 16, so eight and 16. And then how does that compare with the iPod touch? So when people are gonna go into possibly the Apple store and think, mm. oh, you know, I've got 140 quid. Let me, you know, let, I'm going to splash out on one of those. It's only an extra fifty f- quid, fifty pounds, and you've got a, a, a you know, a, an iPod Touch, which has got twenty times the amount of features. And, and they've such packed a new one with features. Haven't Absolutely, they? and you can still strap one of those to your arm and run around. So. Well, you don't look as good as you've got that, but only time will tell. So a mixed feeling of it. We don't really know where it really fits in the iPod lineup. It could be that people go in and kind of go, oh. I want that, but then I'll go for the touch instead. So exactly. a bit like the shuffle bit, last yeah, time. Quite. Um, I think the real test will be this Christmas. Yeah. It's the kind of product that you can see appearing in lots of stockings, mm. and maybe for, for for parents wanting to buy it for their kids, do they they don't want to give them a touch, which has got Wi-Fi, you know, internet capability, um, but but something like this yeah. has a few of the features um, and allows kids to have a an iPod to an join iPod. the family. Yeah. But for for more discerning users. We're not sure where it fits in the lineup yeah. at the moment. It's it's its features aren't that far away from a shuffle, really, in essence. Mm. But compared to an iPod Touch, it's absolutely miles apart. Yeah. And if we look at the audio quality on something like this, uh, it's just not powerful enough mm. to to deliver sort of like really high volumes. Um, and also, it, music can f- uh, sound a little bit flat. Okay. Um, 
it's, it's no problem. I mean, most people won't be able to hear it at all. Mm. But when you compare it to something like the touch, you can really, really notice the difference. Using the headphones you get out of the box. Using the headphones out of the box is uh, it's, it's always uh, it's, it's always a shame that we find those in there all the time because they're not yeah. very good. I think the first recommendation we have is just to replace them as soon as you can. So all of them are available in September. So only time will tell really how well this Nano does. But if you want to read Luke's full review, head over to the review section on t3.com where you'll also find a video with the new touch, the shuffle and reviews of them all. Mm -hmm.